over the last one week i have received quite a few communications from worried students students who passed out in 2022 with a job offer in hand confident that they will now be able to become professionals their worry is quite a few of these companies which had given them the job offer have now started telling them that the date of joining will not happen before 2023 and the problem is even in 2023 they are not confirming when they will be asking these students to join few others who have actually been taken by the companies are now sitting in the bench worried if the job will continue or they will be asked to be eased out simply because these companies are not getting projects in this video i am going to be talking about what happened in the past of a similar nature and the learnings that we should take from that and what i am also going to talk about is what is that you possibly can do during this interim to see to it that this gap does not hurt you later in your career but before i do so please make it a point to subscribe to this channel of mine. My name is Muhammad Abdullah and I have been assisting students who wish to go abroad for higher education to various countries. I normally make videos where I talk about the pros and cons of the countries, of the courses, of the colleges as well. Recognizing the fact that most of the Indians don't actually go abroad for education alone but to get the permanent residency i also make videos where i talk about the rules of permanent residency the fact of the matter is all these countries are changing the rules left right and center a rule that was valid yesterday is not valid today and the rule that is valid today may not be valid tomorrow so you need to be keep yourself abreast of all these changes and that is again a few videos of mine focus on so by subscribing to channel you will get this hot news at the right time for you to take the right decision so go ahead and subscribe let's go back to what is happening recession is happening now this is not the first global recession we had such a scenario couple of years back as well now even then what happened was many companies had given offers to the students while they were in the final year. During that time, the market was quite buoyant. But by the time students completed their graduation, the market had entered into recession. Now, what happens during recession is companies who probably could have become clients for IT companies make their purse tighter. They postponed their investment in technology. They postponed also whatever plans they have because they are unsure about the market in general. Now, therefore, IT companies, companies which would have given you guys offer would start making their purse tighter too. So what is their way forward? They tend to fire people. They tend to freeze their intake and also they tend to delay the intake. Now, then what happened was because the recession had hit, companies initially told students who were passed out that we will be giving you a date of joining six months after you passing out. But then the recession went for a long time and few students ended up having a gap for more than a year. And that is a bad news because it reflects in your resume in your profile and thus has an impact in your career as well. Quite a few companies after having made the students wait for a long time wrote back apologizing and then firing simply because they said look the environment is bad we are uncertain so please go ahead look for other jobs we cannot keep our commitment to you. We need to learn from the incidents of the past. The fact of the matter is that is getting mirrored even this year. Let's look at what has happened. Recession is high. Cost of living has skyrocketed. Inflation across various countries has gone up. All the central banks have started increasing the interest rate. 
companies have started firing people companies have started freezing companies have started delaying classic symptoms of the fact that companies are not confident about the future that should be something that should concern you the unfortunate part is i am sure there are many of you fabulous profile students who probably got into fantastic companies but now suddenly finding yourself lost because these companies are not keeping their commitment so what is that you need to do i am going to be therefore talking about two three important strategies which i'll strongly recommend you people to do one don't waste your time see to it that this time is used to upskill yourself there are a lot of online courses and offline courses that you can do to see to it that during this gap you can actually upskill yourself to a degree where post the recession you can look for better job opportunities start at bigger pay scales in effect this is not your vacation time this is your preparation time second if you already were planning to do higher education later prepone it go ahead prepare go ahead apply do understand the competition for higher education is also much higher for a simple reason recession results in more people applying i have made one more video on this where i have discussed this in depth go ahead watch it to understand the impact of that but here my point is use this time to complete the process if you were thinking of going abroad for higher education later and therefore you have not actually written your gre or ielts or toefl for that matter go ahead write it by the month of november if you still don't get a date of joining or uncertainty seems to persist apply so that if it so happens that companies don't give you a date of joining even by the mid of 23 you have a good backup plan the third suggestion is this invest in the right skills we indians are very strong in logic we indians are very very strong when it comes to the intellectual abilities our greatest drawback is our language and communication see to it that you are investing on these while you parallelly upskill yourself technically because good companies that you probably aspire for after your upskilling will not just look at your intellectual ability they will also look at your personality and if you are a person who is wishing to go abroad for education then you should do what i recommend to my gre students or ielts students apart from investing in improving your english go ahead and learn one foreign language learning a foreign language will give you a huge plus whenever you are doing your masters why is that the fact of the matter is when you plan to do your higher education and you start applying and you start looking for colleges across the country you will realize one very important aspects indians are everywhere so whichever college you go to you will always find indians students there competing against you for the same internship opportunities and the same jobs now when companies come there for internships or for jobs and they say f1 students can apply guess what all indian students will line up in effect you are going to compete with other indian students now you may be a james bond so you believe you talk about your gpa as 9 with pride but let me assure you you have 9 someone else has 9.1 someone else probably has 9.6 we cannot compete with other indians in intellectual abilities alone we need to find our usp where are other indian students normally weak where indians are normally weak language as much as we have logical abilities we are very poor in communication and we are very poor even in learning languages the beauty is if you can learn one foreign language you need to choose that language carefully depending on which country you are going to go to then when you go there you have a differential vis-a-vis other indian students vis-a-vis other indian competitors now believe me that will give a strong philip your ability to network with people 
because it's through networking that you will get to know about internship opportunities, part-time opportunities and of course the job opportunities. These three things, do it. I understand it's a challenging time. I understand it's an uncertain time. Let's all hope and pray that this uncertainty does not last for long. Let's all hope and pray that this recession is a short duration recession. But what if it is long, like it was earlier? And worst, longer than it was earlier. We need to be prepared. In case you have any queries on this, go ahead, ask me that in the comment section. I will make it a point to answer. And if I do find that many of you have similar queries, I will make it a point to come out with a video explaining the background and the impact and more importantly, a strategy so that you can overcome this challenging time. I wish you all the best. But before I end, a simple reminder, subscribe because you need the right information at the right time from the right mentors and we are one such.